Hey guys, it's Nikos with TechThrow. Today is September 1st and Apple has released their Grandmaster for iOS 4.1, meaning it's the final release that will be available next week publicly to everyone. Today it was seeded to developers and I just wanted to show you guys uh, one of the new features, that's HDR photography. What HDR is essentially is when you shoot a photo, you shoot it at a few different exposures and then combine all those photos into one to create a photo with... Uh, kind of like a hyper-realistic look, you get all those different exposures into one photo, it'll look really nice. So, here I've got a bowl of fruit for uh, for demo purposes. It's going to be a little weird because I'm going to have a camera on a camera, so we'll go ahead and focus on the iPhone. And as you can see on the top now, you've got this option to turn HDR on and off. We'll go ahead and turn that on. When you do take an HDR photo, it saves the original and the HDR version, so you won't have to take a photo twice to see the difference which is really nice. Let's go ahead and focus on that fruit and snap an HDR photo. And the shutter is still really quick but as you can see it says it's saving HDR and when you go into your photo gallery you have two photos. You have the original and the HDR and the one that is HDR when you have your your UI uh, showing the photo information it'll say HDR on the top left so you'll know which is which that's not clickable, it's just uh, to indicate that this is the HDR version. And as we can see here, the HDR version does look a little washed out. Uh, again, it did take it at different exposures and the regular one does look like it has some more color to it. I'm hoping I'm focused decently here. Yeah, as you can see right there, HDR is a little more washed out. So uh, let's go ahead and try to take a, another picture. I'll go ahead and turn the lights on real quick. And one thing that I noticed when I took my first HDR photo, which is right here, is the HDR version kind of seemed to clear up a little bit of noise. I don't know if you could see that in the photo itself, but it looks like it's a little less noisy than the original. This is the original. This is the HDR, and this was very low light. There were no lights on in the room except for my MacBook right there. And uh, it, it does look like it clears up some of that noise, which is really nice in low light situations. So let's go ahead and brighten up the screen a little bit, see if we could see a little better. There we go. And let's go ahead and try to take a photo with the lights on. Again, HDR is on. We'll go ahead and focus on this apple in the center. Snap that photo. And let's take a look at the results. So this is your photo without HDR and this is your photo with HDR. So again it's it's brighter, you can see more uh, of the darker areas as you can see in the couch right here. The couch cover over there is very dark in the original and on the HDR version it's very bright. So this, this is definitely helping the light uh, scenarios and of course this is going to work a lot better outdoors so maybe I'll go outside real quick and do couple of photos outdoors. Real quick, before we do that, let's go ahead and see how it works with the flash on. 